So the question is, what do you do when somebody starts to check out very quickly when we start to, uh, with the ocular movement? And that happens quite often, uh, especially with uh, people who are schizoid characters, that, that trauma is developmental trauma is whether in the womb or at birth or first few months after birth. So this person goes very quickly into dissociation. The key here is to keep them present. So doing the work with them sitting up keeps them present from checking out. Yeah, I found that it works way better. And it may happen in the first minutes of a session. The moment you start to move your finger and they start to follow and breathe, first minute or two they already start their, their eyes roll back and they're out that's a protection mechanism that kicks in uh, their body uh, goes into dissociation not to deal with the charge because for them when they experience this life-threatening situation so early in life the only way to survive is to dissociate so this is how their system knows how to deal with, with charging, with a, with a more ex increased charge. And uh, the key here is to support them how to be with the charge without dissociating. So in that case, you need to uh, support them to charge in the shorter increments, in a, low uh, intensity so do it in the short short increments in the low charge you charge them you wait a little bit and then back off so the nervous system really gets the chance to be with it and it may take some time way more than one session yeah.